Hi, this is Stick On Hair. This channel is devoted to vanity. There are things in your life that might not be related to being good looking or not being ugly, but one thing that matters is that you're not a fat ass, because that's something we can all achieve. I haven't bothered because I don't care enough about myself. But from today, with my mother in ICU and my life laid out as an abyss ahead of me with no prospects for the future, I've decided why not try to fucking lose all this weight? So I've got this Renfo app. It's a health app, which I'm setting up right now. With it comes this. A smart body scale. It's just like a scale you stand on to get your weight, plus it does other shit. It's compatible with my Fitness Pal, Apple Health, Google Fit, Samsung Health, and Fitbit. Using this as inspiration, I'll try to look less like a melted candle and hopefully not faint every fucking time I get out of the car. Secondly, I got this thing. This is a tape measure so I can wrap it around my fat jabber guts and find out if I've lost any weight from all the walking I'm about to do at the gym. Unfortunately, the gym has loud <laughs> fucking music all the time. Then there's no escape and it's right in my fucking face. So I'm gonna get some headphones that are noise cancelling. I've had some before. They felt all, you know, invasive in my ears, making me hot, like my ears weren't able to vent out all the hot air from my brain. They're my chimneys, basically, and I've gotta block them to compensate for the awful, awful fucking music that comes out of the gym speakers. This is a smart body measuring tape that sends a Bluetooth signal straight to my phone into this app. This is a very large phone because it's not really a phone at all. Let me turn off this light for you so you can have a look. It's asking me right now to add a device. And so I'm gonna add these two devices and it'll all be synced up and hopefully it'll just fucking work. Okay, I've read these instructions and I can just tell you right now, everything is exactly as you would expect. The one thing that you might not have understood was M stands for unit of measurement and that just toggles between inches and centimeters. This comes out and clicks into there. After you put it around yourself, that detaches it and that recoils it. Hold the button in the middle to turn it off. Now, this is the app and I've now synced this via Bluetooth to the Renfo app. It's asking for neck, shoulder, left bicep, right bicep, chest, waist, abdomen, hip, thigh, left and right, calf, left and right. I know that I don't have the discipline to do all of those measurements all the time. Maybe once in a while I'll do them. Um, what I'm most concerned about is biceps and what do we call it? Abdomen. Because I don't know what the difference between waist, hip and abdomen are. I just want to know the fattest part of me and I want to skinny it down. So I'll just do abdomen and biceps. Neck seems like it would change however you bend it around. Shoulder, I feel like that needs sort of two people because I can't really hold it around my shoulders and I can't be bothered. Um, but just in case there are changes to all of these measurements in the future, it's nice to have a record of all of them. So for this first time, I will measure my entire body um, and I won't add any extra custom parts, all right? So I feel like this is going to date stamp it and 
over time a graph will form hopefully it'll be that way downwards um, that's me going left to right for you it's probably right to left I can't remember how it looks on screens everything's weird for me because of mirrors and what yeah anyway let's just start by taking a look at my fat body after that we'll deal with the scales Now I know a lot of you have been looking forward to this because I'm going to strip for you. Um. Alright, you're not going to be able to see everything, and also I'm not going to take my dick out. I'll take out one testicle, choose, left or right. No, I'm not going to do that either. But this is all about health, but at the moment I'm not really watching what I eat, but I may be compelled to eat less fatty foods. If I start seeing progress, I think I'm jeopardizing it, and maybe I'll be less hungry from all the exercise I'm about to do. <sighs> yeah, I can't um, expand out any wider than this. I'll try to pull you back up there. I know I look homeless, but I just did have a shower. This is what I look like. This is relaxed, okay? Front. Relax more. Thirty first of August, I'm going to flex everything as best as I can and do this. Now, let's measure some shit. The first one is neck. Hi girls, I'm here for the party. Where do I put the keys? In the bowl? Okay, so, left bicep, getting a signal, 35.7, that's correct. This is much better than using a tape measure. Do you want to see what it would look like for me to try to measure with a tape measure without a digital feed? I will try my best to do it right. Okay, I'm going to wrap it around in a circle. I'm getting 30, 36 centimeters. The reading on that machine was 35.7. Anyway, using, doing the bicep with that wasn't that hard. So you could save money and not buy one of those. But I like this thing, it's fun. By the way, if you're a fat ass, you should start doing all this shit too. 
right now so you can follow along with me. I'll be your Jane Fonda. Okay, everybody, have a good time. The great thing about this app is whatever's reading on here, it'll just transmit to the button you've allocated. So it doesn't matter what order. There's no tricky order. You've got to be specific about what order you press buttons in. It's, it's intuitive. I like it. All right. And you know, I hate shit all the time. So it must be all right to pass. And I love this bit. Forty-seven point five inches circumference around my abdomen. Now, what the fuck is hip? Waist? I, I don't know what hip is. The good thing is the retract button actually wakes it up and starts instantly sending a signal to the machine, so it works well. One twenty two point one or oh, forty eight inches. Forty eight inches. Forty eight point zero seven inches. Okay, that's all of those. There is a save button here. Now look, they're all my measurements. That's a little assistant apparently if you click on that little guy. Hip waist ratio. I don't know what you want to do with that. I'm just going to click save. It's it's worrying that the save button exists because it might mean that you've already measured 12 parts. Do you want to continue measuring? Save. You've modified 12 pieces of data in this time. Successfully saved. Low. Waist hip ratio is low. 0 0.89. What the fuck does that mean? All right, I finally reached the starting line with this, which means I've got to start exercising today, like today, like now, after I've measured myself. I woke up at about 9 p.m. It's currently 1 a.m., so I've been awake for four hours. Now I'm going to unbox this, so be careful. Oh, so this glass, I think. Glass. Caution, glass. Handle with care. Do not stand on this device. Otherwise, you will break it and cut your feet open horrifically. Before first use, it says slippery when wet as well. <laughs> it's in a fucking bathroom. Before first use, you need to connect the Info Health app and complete your profile information. Otherwise, your body fat result will not show on the scale. It worries me that it's glass and slippery when wet. It's asking for trouble, isn't it? I'm going to read this booklet and sync it up with the Renfo Health app and put the batteries in and peel the plastic off. So I reckon the whole thing presses down on these four, which would mean you'd need a very flat floor. Nice, clear, easy to read display. Now I'm going to read this and sync this with the app. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to stand on this thing to sync it properly. And that's probably going to give me my weight at the same time. One point five. 
that's just done that on the screen here. Tells me my body mass index, body fat is 31.9%. That's pretty high. I'm pretty sure red is bad. Free fat body weight. So 69 without any fat. So I've got 27.9% subcutaneous fat and 13% visceral fat. That's 49.2% body water. How does it know this stuff? Muscle mass. Bone mass, protein, BMR, how the fuck, metabolic age, 53, fuck. All data collected from device, I'm 47, right? That's not good. All right. How is it going to save? Details. Obesity, weight, 101.5. Red, obesity. 10 stats not up to the standard. BMI, obesity 30.3. Yeah, after you after you pass 30%, BMI or whatever 30 means, you're obese. Okay? <laughs> so gotta get it down there to be normal. What's this weight? Obesity over 100 something. 100.47. Um I'm 101.5, so I won't be obese anymore on this graph if I'm less than 100.47. I don't know how they figured that out. I'll still be overweight at 83.72. That's a lot of drop. So once I'm between 61 and 80, no, I'd be fuckingly massively underweight if I was 62 kilograms. 80 is normal, I reckon. I don't think. Be my. Damn, this thing hates me. Three stats meet the standard. Fat-free body weight, 69. Must adequate muscle mass, 64%. 64% of me is muscle. 30% of me, 31, 32% of me is fat. That's 90. That's about 90. I, I don't understand what's... I didn't calculate it properly. What's left of me is my brain muscle or fat. What are they talking about? What about bones? Surely that weighs more than fucking one kilogram. My liver? Shit. I don't understand this thing. I'm not just fat or muscle. That's not the two things that I am. I'm other things as well. So, bone mass. It says 3.4% of me is my bone mass. My, my, all my bones combined apparently weigh 3.46 kilograms. <laughs> my biceps can wait. I mean, my main concern is my guts here. So I feel that's pushing up on my lungs and causing me to faint all the time. And also, it makes me ugly and gives me all this extra fat. So if I lose weight, if I lose fat, I'll be happy. If I can then, you know, start being vain enough to look in the mirror about my body instead of going fucking put some clothes on, I'm so fucking fat and ugly. Like I said, I won't be taking those other measurements again. It'll just be bice. Left or right bicep, I don't think I'll do both biceps. And then I'll do um, abdomen. That's it. And I'll weigh myself. I'll try to do it every day for a month. That's what I'm saying now. But my mum's in ICU, an emergency. I'm not allowed to visit it because it's fucking one in the morning. That's... Anyway. Um, I'll put some shit in my hair and deal, deal with my hair. All right. And then I'll eventually probably start fucking getting there and removing all this hair off me so I can see myself in the mirror properly. Because, uh, yeah, this is all about vanity and I want to see what the results look like at the end.
I went to the gym for just 10 minutes. I was so sick from food poisoning or something. I'm not sure if it was strawberries, rum, or peanuts. Fruit has often made me feel like I've got diarrhea. I've been to the toilet like seven times today, and it's only seven o'clock in the morning. Soon, despite everything that my mum has done to ignore me, despite my need for her, um, I'm gonna go visit her in hospital because she's in ICU, because she has the flu while she has cancer. And this is bad. She's had, like mind numb and in the past, because of the chemo type she was on, she was unable to form sentences. But she recovered fully from that before. I just don't like it when she dips. It's not good. Dips have to result in a go back uphill. My auntie died less than a month ago from dipping and she didn't fall out. So I'm gonna go visit her in hospital. My pain, my pangs, my intensity pangs last for a certain amount of time. And I guess going to the gym, despite the sickness and everything I feel, and I was only able to do 3.5 kilometers per hour for 10 minutes. And I was like, God, oh, this fucking music. Um, yeah, I just, I just couldn't. Normally I'd walk for 4.5 kilometers an hour for an hour or more. Last time it was three hours. That's 13.5 kilometers walking. So if you do an hour, whatever speed you're doing, you just know that that's the distance you've walked because we measure things per hour, right? Uh, so yeah, 4.5 kilometers in... <clears throat> I mean, if I walked four and a half kilometers, it's quite a long distance. Imagine 4.5 kilometers from where you live right now. You're gonna have to do your own translations for miles if you're a miles person, okay? It's just multiply, kilometers by, or divide kilometers by 1.6. What is that? 4.5 is about three. Alexa, what is 4.5 kilometers in miles? 4.5 kilometers is about 2.8 miles. 2.8 miles. Did answer your question? 